What's up guys? Thanks for coming to Game in Canada with me. Today I have a really quick video showing you how to utilize a feature inside of Luma Custom Firmware known as the Rosalina menu to inject your homebrew launcher into an official Nintendo app so that you don't have to install the homebrew launcher CIA to your home menu. Now there isn't a ton of reasons for doing this other than some people think that it does help you to stop getting banned on your 3DS by hiding your homebrew use under an official Nintendo app, but personally I just think it's cool and I like using the homebrew launcher versus installing CIAs. Another reason you might want to do this is in case FBI was no longer accessible to you on your 3DS and you needed to install or use some homebrew. Say if your SD card maybe got corrupted or your apps just aren't showing up on the home menu, this is going to give you the ability to put a bunch of 3DS X files on your SD card and run them very quickly without installing anything. For example, you could go ahead and put FBI.3DSX in your 3DS folder on your SD card, go ahead and inject the homebrew launcher using Rosalina, and then launch FBI from homebrew, and then go ahead and install any CIAs that you needed to install if your SD card, say, got corrupted. Not a lot of people know how to do this, so I thought I would make a quick video on it to give me a reference point in the future, because it's kind of hard to explain over a comment. Enough talking, let's get this started. The only prerequisites for doing this is making sure you have a boot.3dsx on the root of your SD card next to your boot.firm. If you don't have a boot.3dsx, I'll put a link down in the description so you can go and get one. Now the boot.3dsx basically houses your homebrew launcher itself, so without it you're not going to be able to inject the homebrew launcher. The other prerequisite is that you have to be on Luma 8.0 or higher to access the Rosalina menu. So now that you've made sure you've got your boot.firm and your boot.3dsx on the root of your SD card, I'll meet you guys down on the 3DS. Here we are on the 3DS. Go ahead and launch whatever app you want to inject the homebrew launcher into. I'm going to go ahead and use Nintendo 3DS Sound. Now, once you've launched into Nintendo 3DS Sound or whatever app you're using, go ahead and press the home button on your 3DS. Now, this is going to sort of exit out of it, but it's still running in the background. Now, what you need to do is press L, down, and select all at the same time, and this is going to bring up your Rosalina menu. Now, you're going to scroll down to miscellaneous options. Go ahead and select the first one. Switch Switch the HB title to the current app. So that's switching your homebrew to the current app. So I'm going to go ahead and press the A button. Operation succeeded. Now hit the B button. And now if you want it to always be the homebrew launcher when you open up whatever app you chose, go down and select save settings. And now it is saved. Press the B button. Press the B button again. One more time. And now you need to go ahead and tap close and exit out of the software. So I'm going to exit out of it. And now this time, when I go ahead and open it back up, it's going to be the homebrew launcher. And we're going to be able to launch any of the 3DS X files that are on our SD card. So here you can see, here are all my apps, and I am ready to go. If I go ahead and press the home button, you can see it takes me back out, but the 3DS still thinks that I'm in Nintendo 3DS Sound. So now, if you want to undo this and you want to get back into your app, go ahead and close out of the homebrew launcher. Go ahead and press L select and down again to open up your Rosalina menu. Go back to miscellaneous options and switch the homebrew title back to the homebrew launcher loader. And this is going to go ahead and change it back to whatever app it was before. So once I exit out of this, I can go ahead and open up the Nintendo 3DS sound. And as you can see, it's a Nintendo 3DS sound again. Now if you wanted to, you could probably also save the settings if you wanted it to stay as whatever app it is. So if I want to keep this as a Nintendo 3DS sound, I'll just go ahead and save the settings. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you now know how to inject the homebrew launcher using the Rosalina menu. It's a super stealth and easy way of running homebrew programs without having to install anything onto your 3DS. Go down to the comment section and let me know what method you use. Do you guys install CIAs or do you prefer to use the 3DS X files like I do? If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. If you disliked it, go ahead and hit that dislike. I can't really stop you. If you wanted to subscribe for more, that would be swell as well. Don't forget that I stream almost every single day on twitch.tv and mixer.com, so links will be in the description in case you want to check me out. Much love. Peace.